Washington. You know, he's just like the goat among goats, you know. I, I, I don't smoke cigarettes or whatnot, so I feel like it would be cool to like do that. Or you gotta like go on set and just do what you gotta do. You know, because again, that's what you're there for. But I think I'm somebody who really like lives in the moment very much. Now, when it comes to acting, how do you, cause I've seen, I've seen a lot of your acting mm -hmm. and the energy level is just always high one and they're always the same. And then I remember you saying, oh, I'm going on set now and then I'm going on audition. And on the same day, you're having all those projects. So how do you prepare yourself for like a shoot day, for example? How do you prepare yourself in order to deliver all this you know, high quality performance that you deliver? You just go there and have fun. You know, you gotta like be really in the moment for it all. I'd say um, don't think so much about things that can go wrong or don't think about like just like the negative possibilities, you know, you gotta like go on set and just do what you gotta do. You know, because again, that's what you're there for. But I think I'm somebody who really like lives in the moment very much. You know, I'm somebody who takes in everything and rolls with it. You know, I, I enjoy, I enjoy being on set a lot. You know? Amen. <laughs> okay, so when it comes to working with a director, what do you look for? Um, Somebody, I guess, first of all, somebody who knows what they're doing. Um, but also just somebody you feel like you can work with in terms of just like, am I able to get along with this person? Or like, am I able to go to this person and talk about something that he may find difficult? You know, am I able to uh, approach them and like, be like, hey, like, I don't really like how my character does this. So I'm able to do this. like things like that. You know, I think somebody who has like an open mind and isn't afraid to be critiqued and like vice versa. You know, I think it just comes down to the personality of it all. When it comes to the, the film industry, who, or when it comes to actors in the, in the film industry, who inspire you, who inspires you the most? Um, obviously, like you said earlier, Denzel Washington, you know, he's just like, the goat among goats, you know. Um, but obviously, I love uh, Michael B. Jordan, uh, Johnny Depp, Leonardo. There's like just a bunch of guys and girls out there too that I just really love. Um, I recently just finished watching the uh, Peaky Blinders. So Cillian Murphy. I was like, he's like, he's up there for me right That's now. That's the goat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I literally How do you just... think about all the smoking, though? Because at some point, it's like, <laughs> I feel like I'm smoking on the screen. I'm like, what the, what's going on here? <laughs> uh, that's like, that is funny because, like, I want I want to uh, play a character that, like, smokes or, like, smokes often and things like hey, that. Be because nice. I don't. I, I I don't smoke cigarettes or whatnot, so I feel like it would be cool to like do that, portray it through somebody else. Like. By the time you get to the sixth season, your eyes are going to turn red. You're going to be like, <laughs> uh, I'm in the park, are we smoking? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Picky Blind Eye is an amazing TV show. Amazing. Uh, the first season wasn't wasn't the best. It, I feel like it was very slow at the beginning, but along the line it started picking up and then all of a sudden it just became one of the best TV shows that yeah. I've ever seen. I think um, the later, um, I think it was season four or something, like when they were like messing with the Italians, that, that was my uh, favorite one person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot, of, a lot of stakes to it, so I was like, okay. Right, this is, yeah. This is it's crazy.